Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to have a look at what exactly pure and impure functions are and what side effects are and why side effects are necessary and you need them a lot, but what you should watch out for when you're working with side effects. So you might have heard about the term pure function. What does it mean? In the end, it means something like this. This is a pure function. This function add here takes two parameters, a and b, it adds both together and then returns the total. And it's a pure function because it has no external dependencies, it only works on the input parameters it gets, it's not using any other third party function which might be doing some stuff, and it's also not changing any state. And you learned about state in another video, which of course is also again linked below this video. And that's in the end what makes up a pure function. The core idea is that when you call it, you always get the same result for the same inputs and you have no state changes. That's important. So no state changes, nothing external is changed, everything happens inside of the function and calling it with the same data always produces the same result. That's what makes up a pure function. Now here's the same function again, at least almost, it's not the same, but now written such that it's not pure anymore. Why? Well, we have the add function, it takes two parameters, but it doesn't return a value anymore. Instead, it logs something to the console. Now you could argue, it still does always the same. When we call it with the same data, we'll always log the same data or the same result to the console. But console log here is actually a side effect. It's changing the state of our application. It, we're not changing any external data here, but we're changing what's rendered on the screen. And as you learn in my state video, that is also part of your application state. The result it's producing or what it's showing on the screen, that's part of the application state. So console log changes that state. It is a side effect and that might be okay. This is not a bad function, not something you need to avoid at all costs but it's not a pure function. And if your goal was to write a pure function because you want to have that side effect free behavior, then of course this is something you would wanna avoid. If of course you are totally fine with changing the state and logging something right here, then this is absolutely okay. So I'm not saying that pure functions are better or that you should avoid impure functions and side effects. It's just something you should be aware of because there can be scenarios where side effects indeed should be avoided, where you want a function which you can call without risking triggering some side effect. Logging something to the console, of course, will rarely be bad, but consider you're sending an HTTP request here. That's something you also need to do in some parts of your application, of course, but in an add function, it would be rather unexpected. And that's the general rule. You want to avoid unexpected side effects. So it's not that pure functions are better or side effects are bad, but unexpected side effects are bad. Because as the name suggests, they are unexpected and unexpected things are never great in your code. So this function is impure because it has a side effect. Now here's another impure function, subtract with random. This function is not pure because it's not producing the same result for the same inputs. Since I'm deducting a random number here, we can always call it with the same values and still get different results. And again, that might be something you need in some part of your application, it's just not a pure function then. And if your goal was to have a pure function, then you definitely want to avoid something like this, because just as with the unexpected side effects, here again, the result is not reliable. We always get a different result whenever we call that function. And again, unless you really know what you're doing and that is what you need here, unexpected things or results which are not reproducible are things you often want to avoid in programming. And that's already it for this video. I hope it's now a bit clearer what pure and impure means, what a side effect is and how all these things are related.